I literally came down the stairs this morning at like 7 a.m. and I said to, to him and, our, and my director, it's going to be weird, but you have all permission to tell me to just throw away the pages. It's no time lost. This is the place to do it. Hi, I'm Robbie Hager. I use he, him pronouns, and I am the composer lyricist of Little Duende. And I'm Georgina Escobar. I'm book and lyrics for Little Duende. And we are here at the National Music Theater Conference 2021. Mm. Return after the pandemic. Um, yeah. Little Duende follows uh, Adelita, who is our Little Duende, through El Flan uh, after her mother's been kidnapped by a mysterious entity. And we follow her in the journey north, searching for her uh, until we realize that her dreams and um, ideas and thoughts about who she was is really not at all what she imagined once she crosses to the other side of the wall. When I met Georgina, it was all by email first and somebody recommended and they said you have to use Kirkina for this project she's perfect so I emailed her and she was in Mexico directing a play or a musical and then she said let's, let's chat when I get back and we'll, we'll do maybe a zoom or something and give me the pitch so then we worked remotely all through virtual this entire year in 2020 we just yeah. went back and forth and she had gave me like windows of times and I was like perfect I'll make sure that we can get, get that time done and and send you updates and you outlines all this stuff we then started looking into submissions for different places and then O'Neill yeah. came up right away you oh I knew it. it I was when I once I heard his music <laughs> I was like we have to submit this to the O'Neill but let me make sure that there's a book first before you we, did it in like two weeks yeah like a so, weekend so cool. but you know we did it and then I was like Robbie did you apply and he literally jumped out of bed I was like I was already you know cuddled my <laughs> husband was next to me we were just okay now I'm gonna go to bed and then she texted me it's like I turned to my husband Chris and I was like can you just texted me this why well, should do it right and he's like yeah you should so I got up we only had 30 minutes left on this uh, on the deadline I did it. I was like, okay. Click send. Gods of the yesteryear. Yes. It's in your hands. We had never heard it out loud. We have never read it uh, to each other or talked about it or anything. It was literally like, here you go. I got work to do. I'll see you later. Hopefully we, we have a time and space to, to actually develop this. Hi, I'm Melissa Crespo. I use she, her pronouns, and I am the director of Little Duende here at the National Music Theater Conference. What's really wonderful about this process here on Little Duende is the work has been evolving pretty rapidly. We have been reading pages, we've been asking questions, interrogating the work, and, and really we're just throwing paint on the wall and seeing how it looks. Between the actors, the stage management, the musicians, the, the, the arrangers, everybody has been in service of what Georgina and Robbie are making. It's such a daring, bold work in terms of the relationship between the U.S. and, and, and Mexico and, and the meaning of the border and, and what it really means from an immigrant's point of view as to what it means to cross the border and, and what kind of sacrifice that is, why it's done. Finding ways to clarify that, make that interesting and theatrical is what I am finding to be the what's the next steps, especially as we clarify Act Two. Not to give anything away. <laughs> I've done a rehaul of Act One, not in a bad way. It's a rehaul that's really just actually condensing, collapsing, and, and making it really tight. And then did, did the same for most of Act Two. And right now we're literally in that magical moment where we're debating whether to you know off a character or 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 let her live. I feel like. Yeah. The safest I've ever been yeah. in terms of just trying something without judging it, without thinking it's going to be something specific. Yeah. Just try it now and hear it out with our actors who are virtual, uh, joining us virtually. And it's just, just try it. And then if it doesn't work, good. Next thing. I literally came down the stairs this morning at like 7 a.m. and I said to, to him and, our, and my director, it's going to be weird. But you have all permission to tell me to just throw away the pages. It's no time lost. This is the place to do it. Risk fell risk again. We just wanted to, to make sure that it was, this is the place to try it and, and not be afraid. The we floor. love the idea. Oh my God. And this music is Magic. just, it's just, it's just wonderful. I, I am not the kind of person who is moved to tears uh, as often as other people and it never fails to move me and uh, by the way we we, ju we had only met in person once so this is the first time we're For like cafecito. and so it's really wonderful to actually have the space here to get to know each other and we feel like we've known each other for 
a lifetime and hopefully this is just the start of a very wonderful long long friendship and collaborations and collaborations <laughs> hopefully <laughs> we have ideas yeah, we already have ideas for other things <laughs> we are right on the same page we yeah. love horror films and disney at the same time like we are so in sync with disney this show. horror it's so <laughs> it's so perfect it's so easy and i love that you know we had a really hard hard year 2020 and now is the time to take that big risk for that play that you're like is it going to work is it the time for it now is the time try it do it don't be afraid of it don't think about it writing doesn't just happen on the page writing happens in in how you interact uh with your collaborators how you interact with everybody in the room collaboration is key listen nothing's precious service the story